What's good everyone and welcome to the channel. If you're new to it, my name's Jake. I'm so glad to have you here with us today. And we are gonna crack open these two booster boxes of Icoria, Lair of the Behemoths. A uh, fan of the channel, Carter reached out to me and said, Jake, I would love for you to open a couple boxes for me. Uh, so here I am. This is actually the first time I'm opening Magic product in, in a really long time. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's hop into it. Let's just rip it. Let's just do. Well, we'll keep this one separate. We'll keep it set aside over here and tap into it. But Carter, I appreciate it, my man. We'll uh, crack open this box topper for you too at some point. Carter also wanted me to give a little shout out to his fantastic fiance, Nikki. So Nikki, I hope this. Be, I hope you get a little uh, little taste of these uh, these packs too. Look at this little. Uh, lemur furry night creature thing here but carter had nothing but amazing things to say about you i'm super excited to open these these boxes these packs for you guys here and we'll kind of we'll go through these um through these com the first couple comments this is the first time i'm opening the set so i'm <laughs> i'm kind of curious too pacifism all right uh Password was always a great, um, great common staple to get into like limited formats. Primal Empathy, Avian Oddity. Ooh, there's our first uh, Godzilla-ish card, right? It's really cool looking. Two three mutate. Uh, when a mutate, return target instant sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. That's kind of a fun little card. Uh, Karuga. A rare. Ooh, there's something spicy. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Cloud Piercer. A foil uh, Godzilla card or alt card or whatever we're calling them these days. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Nice. I don't know. Should I be keeping these separate? Maybe I'll keep these separate so we can get a tally at the end here. All right, on to the next one. Let's see. Essence Scanner. Okay. Another Pacifism. Boy, this is very similar commons to the first pack. Weaponize the monsters. We have another foil in here, I think. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, Splendor Mare. Ooh, a Triome. That's pretty sweet. All right. And a Halika Glider. Halika Glider. I don't know, should I also be saving, setting these Triomes aside maybe? I feel like that might be a thing I want it. No, we're gonna have too many stacks. <laughs> this is why, this is why if I opened a uh, collector booster box, I would, it would be a disaster. I've been seeing some videos and it's like eight stacks. I would probably end up with like 15 stacks. So it's just a card per. <laughs> See, uh, neutralize. There's another uncommon. Chittering Harvester. Ooh, our first mythic, Nethroid, Apex of Death. That's pretty sweet. 5-5. Five, five. Uh, death Touch Lifelink, one of this creature mutates, return any number of creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, wow, that is a sweet commander if I've ever seen one. Uh, let's see, another another foil too. I really do love the uh, increased foil rate per, per box. I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, I hope all of you guys have been doing well. Hunted Nightmare. It's been... Uh, been a pretty crazy time, am I right? Just as uh, everything started to hit the world, my family and I were in the middle of a move. We actually, I'm all settled. We're all settled into the our new our new home. Obash, the prey piercer. That's pretty cool looking art. I also like. I don't know if this is new, but I feel like the way they're doing this border on the top is new. Maybe I don't know. Uh, Flycatcher, another foil. Boy, we are just like on fire with these foils. Uh, but so yeah, family and I are all moved in. There's another foil. Uh, family and I are all moved into the new new house. That's pretty exciting. Ooh, there's a Vulca, uh, Vulpakeet. A little flying fox bat thing. It's pretty sweet. Where's our, there it is. Um, we're all settled in now, doing well. Staying quarantined and whatnot. Another foil. Hope all of you are doing well as well, doing being safe and keeping yourselves and your loved ones safe. Pouncing short shore wow, shore shark? Shore shark. That's pretty sweet looking. 
Um, where did my, there it is. Primal Empathy, Polywog Symbiote. Ooh, Bonders Enclave. Oh, this is odd. I'm gonna revisit this, what's this do? Pay three, draw a card, activate this ability, only if you control a creature with power four or greater. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this is kind of, I guess it makes sense since there's all these cards in here that give things like a flying token and a hexproof token and a menace token and a etc. etc. Um, gotta remember not to fly through all the commons. I think I might have done that for a pack or two already. But Carter, these are all getting sent out to you per your request in an unpredictable cyclone. What else do we got here? Another foil. I snuck a peek there. Ooh, Fertilid. That's kind of cool. Fertilid reprint. See, am I staying in focus here? Uh, back for more. Frill Scare Mentor. Colossification. And another foil. That's a pretty cool uh, companion token, I guess. Uh, classification. This is a plus 20. Yes, this is a plus 20, plus 20. Gross. I honestly haven't even... I've seen a couple of the collector booster boxes opened, but I haven't uh, been... I'm pretty far behind in my in my magic content and openings, obviously. Voracious Great Shark. That's pretty sweet. And a Lord Dracus. That's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm, yeah, a lot of these, these cards are all very new to me. Between um, being quarantined and working from home, and not having daycare, <laughs> it's been a, it's been an interesting uh, life change. Hunt Master Liger. What is this guy? It's kind of cool looking. Whenever it mutates, uh, target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus two. Or something. All right, Offspring's Revenge and a Crystalline Giant is our first foil rare. Hopefully, it's not our only. See, so it costs three, three, three. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that this thing doesn't have on it uh, from flying, first strike, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and put a plus one, or and plus one, put a counter of that kind on it. Oh, okay. Well, probably not great. I've been having problems with my uh, phone the last couple videos, making sure it, it's seen in focus. So if I, if you see me like stutter, it's oh, another classification, really? Oh, oh, actually, I should probably put, should probably put that up there. Um, yeah, if you see me like stutter, it's because I'm just, just pausing to check, <laughs> check to make sure I'm in focus. Uh, especially important when I'm doing openings for other people. They obviously are, uh, they very much care what I'm opening. <laughs> Zenith Flare, Catcher Crystal, Lord Rex, ooh, and a Ruinous Ultimatum. I think these Ultimatum cards are super cool. Very expensive uh, to cast, but still very bomby, very fun. And that one destroys all non-land permanents your opponents control. So that is a big uh, FU to your opponents, if you can cast that. I feel like uh, seven mana in Commander is not that hard to achieve. Necro Panther, Zagath Crystal. Wait, did I skip a? I must have skipped an uncommon. We'll dig that out later. Mythos of Brokos, that sub art man. That is pretty sweet looking. See, if blue or black was spent to cast a spell, search your library for a card, put that card in your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Return up two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. That's kind of cool. Kind of like that. I would play that in a. Commander deck. What is that, Sultai? Let's see. Sanctuary Lockdown, The Boon, A Barrier. Ooh, and another Triome. Nice. The Abzan Triome. I do like these Triomes. I think the full art ones are pretty sweet looking. I haven't picked any up myself, but I certainly want to. Mm, oh, another sub art. It's so, so funny how you can like spot it from a mile away. 
All right, let's see, we're almost halfway through. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> it's obviously been a while since I've done this. Ooh, Kogla, Titan Ape. But we'll power through. Carter, I will uh, definitely, oh, see, I'm gonna skip over these things. Boy, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a while since I've done a video, guys. <laughs> it's been a while. Everquill Phoenix. Oh, a luminous brood ball foil. Oh man, nice. Check that out. I mean, it's not the Mothra art, but this card is still super sweet. I'm not even sure the prices, but I know that I like that card. I know that I like that card. That is pretty awesome. Nice. C Dasher Octopus. Mm. Mm. I mean, it has flash. That's kind of cool. That's interesting art. Another Volcapeep. Ooh, there we go. A Necro Panther. Oh, Kinnon. Nice. Kinnon's great. That's definitely one of the money cards. That is definitely one of the money cards. So I think we're doing okay. Two Triomes. Um, inspired Ultimatum. The Jeskai one. Target player gains 5 life. It deals 5 da damage to any target and you draw 5 cards. Gross. I'm all about drawing cards. Ooh, there's a Chittering Harvester. That's pretty sweet. And that Zerda. Zerda. Alright. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Ooh, nice. Trumpeterian Gnar. That's pretty awesome. We haven't gotten any... I don't think we've gotten any duplicates to these so far. A uh, Garuda. Doom of Depths. Let's see, do we have any... No, I think they're all like... Yeah. Nice. Getting those Godzilla cards for you, man. Just keep opening them. Skull Prophet, Glowstone, Escape. Eh. Ooh, another Triome. Nice. The Jeskai Triome. It's pretty sweet. Ooh, a Migratory Great Horn. The Nar Path Mentor. Ooh, and a Lutri. Lutre. Nice. It's too bad Lutri was. Banned right other it was Luchi, right? That was banned right before before the set even came out in uh in Commander. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's see there the fox, crystal symbiote, and Yadaro, the wandering monster. This thing is really funny. My friends and I decided that we were gonna do like this uh secret Santa type. Uh, EDH uh, game and what, so what we did was and I suggest you guys do this too it's we haven't played it yet but so what we did was we um, we each picked a commander for um, for our th the three other people uh, you don't pick one for yourself you pick one for the three other people that are in uh, your regular play group oops Darks goes there, and a Frondland Felidar, and you pick a commander that you wouldn't want them to make a deck out of, or that you think that they may might want to make a deck out of, and then, so at the end, after everyone's done that, ooh, Parcel Beast, ooh, Dirge Bat, full art, nice, that's pretty sweet, it's a rare. Uh, mutate, flash, flying. When this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker an opponent controls. That's pretty cool art. Kev Walker, he does nice stuff. Uh, another foil. And so at the end there, what, what we do is we have each player has three options of a commander to pick from. And it can't be something you've already, you already have a deck over. Obviously, that defeats the purpose. Um, and then you pick out of those three a uh, commander to build a deck around. And then we're, we're all going to play our new decks in a game. 
a mythos of Eluna. Um, and just, you know, just kind of mix it up, keep it fresh. Uh, bring new decks to the group and uh, so looking forward to that. I um, One of my options was Alela, so I selected Alela. Pretty excited about, it's been a while since I've actually made a new deck. Um, Mythos of Snap Decks, another sub art, so cool. But yeah, I suggest you guys do that if you haven't. It's uh, it's pretty sweet, pretty pretty fun. Always like building new commander decks, anyways. So, um, getting ideas from your friends, basically. Oh, tri another triumph, the Mardu triumph, Tranquil Cove foil. All right, we are almost through box one at like 95 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh, Narset of the Ancient Way. Another mythic. Is that really our only... I mean, I guess... Oh, no. Okay. So we got Kinnon, Narset. I don't know why I put the monkey up here. Uh, Nethroi. And then the Luminous Brood Moth. Foil mythic. Ooh, ooh Brokos. All right. I think the one that everyone really wants is, uh, actually, I don't even remember. Is it Jund? Or is it just this one? Is it this one? I don't remember. Uh, ooh, ooh, wow. Wow. Okay, that's pretty sweet. A, another a mythic um, full art, alt art thing. That's pretty awesome. Gotta be happy with that, buddy. Nice. Survivor's Bond. Last pack, box one. All right. Mm -hmm. Lava Brink Venturer. Okay, let's, um, you know what, I will just, I'm going to pull up prices so I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hold on one sec. So let's get into this second one for Carter and his fantastic fiance, Nikki. Oh, we for almost forgot this box top. Well, you know what? Yeah, why don't we just go ahead and do this now? Or should we do it? Yeah, we'll do it now. Let's just, let's just do it now. All right, hopefully, hopefully we get something super good. Oh, ooh, Space Godzilla Death Corona. Oh, I'm not supposed to say the C word, am I? Shit. Well, I don't think this is the most valuable one, but it's certainly a, a decent hit. Once upon a time, that was selling for like $130 or something ridiculous. Certainly not worth that anymore, but... So it goes. Lots of uh, FOMO and crazy, crazy speculation going on. But still, certainly a, a good card to pull. All right. Uh, another foil. Oh, another Lutri. Phase Dolphin. It's kind of funny. What's happening in my stacks here? And we just also got, what, is, what else is going on in the Magic World? See, we got uh, news of a whole bunch of summer drops, which, God, I'm so tempted to like. Oh, Luros, Luros, Luros. This is really good. This is seen play in all sorts of modern decks. Very powerful stuff. Uh, yeah, the summer, the summer secret layer drops. I'm pretty excited for them. Those are lightning bolts, man. Oddly enough, I'm least excited about Noah Bradley's Lightning Bolt, which is very strange because I love Noah Bradley's stuff. Labyrinth Raptor Adventurous Pulse. What is this? I'm interested by green spells that cost one. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card or land card from among them. Put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Hmm. Okay.
On to the next one. Ooh, Everquill Phoenix again. Oh, I mean, we're definitely going to get duplication. We're opening two boxes here. Uh, the secret, yeah, what other, the birds, the birds, um, secret layer, ooh, Vivian, that's kind of nice, what's Vivian, it's a couple bucks, I would assume, yeah, yeah, like maybe close to 10 or so, Luca was like 10 or so, uh, the birds one I think is pretty awesome, what other one, oh, the, of course the, uh, the artifacts one with like Steel Overseer and Walking Ballista and something else that I can't think of. Sea Dasher Octopus. I'm super excited for that one. It's funny because they watched the announced um, that store buy a product uh, promo of um, Hangerback Walker as Mecha Godzilla, and I was like, why would they do? Why would they do Hangerback Walker when Mecha Godzilla is clearly a hangerback walker, and well, they already had <laughs> had a planned mech uh, dirge bat. I don't think that that's a great foil rare. Um, yeah, no. Uh, they already had planned a hangerback walker, so then it all or a um, walking blitz, so it all kind of made sense. But still, I would have rather had seen the Mecha Godzilla as walking ballista. Umori the Collector. That's kind of cool. What does this thing do? Uh, it's 4 or 5 companion. Each non land card in your starting deck shares a card type. Hmm. That doesn't seem great. As it enters the battlefield, choose a card type. Spells you can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that is why Luros is seen modern play and not Umori. Easy Prey, Savai, Blitz, Ruinous Ultimatum, and a Humble Naturalist Foil. What else do we have here? Flourishing Fox, Avian Oddity, we've got another foil. Luca, and Sanctuary Smasher, not great. Fight as one, boy. These comments, this comments text, it's getting big. Uh, Offspring's Revenge, Death's Oasis, uh, second foil rare. Uh, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, put the top two cards of your library in your graveyard. Then return a creature card with lesser converted mana cost than the creature that died from your graveyard to your hand. Then you can sacrifice this thing and gain life equal to the greatest converted mana cost among creatures you control. Hmm. Okay. Neutralize, Heartless Act, and a uh, Winota Mythic. It's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, a buddy of mine just put together a commander deck with Winota. Sounds, I haven't played against it yet, but it sounds pretty powerful. Can we get some more of these um, full art, mythic, and foil rare things? That would be fun. That would be pretty fun. I like opening that stuff. Uh, Mythos. Another one of those things. But yeah, I mean, how are you guys feeling about about Akoria? I mean, are you super pumped about it? It seems to be very expensive. I, um... At least the sealed product does. It's interesting seeing how LGS is not being open, how it seems to be affecting um, the market. Volcapete. And in turn, how much... Ooh, another Winota. That's odd. Duplicate Mythics in a box. And uh, how, how, supply, how the supply chain is kind of going to be affected and just supply in general. Obash. Obash. Dismal Blackwater. Yeah, I mean, is there going to be... I mean, I would assume there's just going to be a lot less Ikoria product 
opened, um, I mean, drafts aren't happening. That's a huge part of where, uh, where singles come in. A lot of people playing drafts, people aren't playing drafts. And then if there's not a lot of people playing drafts, there's not a lot of product being opened, stores probably aren't doing mass box openings like they normally would, given they don't have the foot traffic, Parcel Beast. Um, you know, what does that, what does that mean for, for the supply of these cards in the, in the long term? Uh, and, and in the short and medium term, is WotC going to, I mean, are they still gonna print a lot? It's hard to say, I don't, I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see how this, this set in particular plays out over time. The Godzilla cards are super cool. I will say that. Chevelle. Another mythic. We really want to see one of those fiend artisans. I'm pretty pretty pumped about that card. I think it's pretty sweet. Ooh, migratory, another migratory great horn. That's a duplicate. Ugh. Another mythos mythos vedrock. Subart. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, Necro Panther again, and another Ruinous Ultimatum. Hmm. Coming down to our last stack here, making the turn. Ooh, Karuga. Okay, what do we got? Oh boy, there's something good in this, I think. Oh boy, all right. Charge. Another mythos, and... Oh! oh! <laughs> yes, yes, we're doing it, Carter. Nikki, we're doing it. We're opening good stuff. Oh man. I was just talking about these full arts. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. We'll just set that one aside too. That's basically a box topper card. That's amazing. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. And another Triumph to boot. Ooh, and then a Crystalline... Really? Another Crystalline Giant? Really? Wait. I think that, wasn't that a, f a foil rare in the first box? What do I do with it? It's probably buried in here. Well, at least we got that, what is it, Abzan? Yeah, Abzan full art foil triome. That's pretty sick. Fiend artisan to boot, oh, <laughs> yes. Yes! Oh my god. This second box is a heater. I am liking this second box for sure. And another crystalline giant. Really with these fucking crystalline giants? Okay. Mm -hmm. Eerie ultimatum. I mean, that's a good ultimatum to. Pop open. I would certainly, I would certainly play it. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Uh, another Boneyard Lurker, a Slither Wisp. Slither Wisp. Okay, just a couple packs left. We're almost to the end. Ooh, there's another full art something sweet, hopefully. Uh, uh. Ooh, gem razor. But oh, that's just the rare too. I am so confused how they <laughs> how they put these things in here now. Gem razor though, that's pretty cool. Uh, mutate, reach, trample one of this creature. Mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment, and opponent controls. I feel like this is pretty good. Uh, where do we put this? Maybe just here. Wow, Gem Rage is pretty sweet. I'm gonna have to look into 
could be picking one of those up. That seems pretty good. Um, another migratory great horn. Do you guys see how big this stack of commons is getting over here? It's almost touching the camera. It's not really almost touching the camera, but... Oh my god, two in one pack? Really? I had no idea that was a thing. That's pretty awesome. Another classification. Boy, you are going to be set up on classifications, my friend. Can we round it out with a playset? I know you probably don't want it, but <laughs> just for the meme, I think it would be worth it. Genesis Ultimatum. Was that the last Ultimatum? All right. Three packs left. Can we, oh my God, we have another full art. This box is bonkers. What is it? Oh, <laughs> another one. I think we, did we get one of these? I feel like we got one of these. We got the regular, oh, I think we got the regular one. We'll go through those in a minute here. That's pretty awesome too. Nice, man. I'm so, so, so happy. This is great. Cavern Whisperer. It, it's a, uh, I know it's not anything I have any control over or anything, but like, it always is a little, Nerve wracking opening boxes, cub warden, cub, um, opening boxes for fans of the channel because, you know, of course I want to open <laughs> good stuff for them. And it just feels bad if it's like, if they're like dud boxes, which I've opened my fair share of dud boxes, that's for sure. Uh, oh god, comments down. And another mythos, so that not a great way to finish. But, alright, let's move these out of here so I don't make a terrible mess that I will be not so inclined to clean up. Okay, so what did we, how did we do here? Being careful, being careful. So we got, let's go through the, I guess we'll go through these first and just see if I missed any mythics, which is entirely possible. Yep, I sure did. I put one in there. Well, I didn't miss it, but I put it in the wrong spot. Oh, there's another one. Cause I am an idiot. Let's see what else? What else? Hopefully that was the only the only two. It was okay. So here are. Wait, did I? Hmm. See, there's a rare. Uh, there's another rare. There's another rare. I was just putting all the foils together, is why. All right, got those cleaned up. Let's check out these guys. And Carter's like, Jake, are you gonna open that uh, last box topper, buddy? I sure am. Oh, man. We are just flush with... I mean, that's pretty sweet. The foil, one of those. We only got one foil. Oh, no, I guess two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25? I think that seems probably about right. I actually don't really know. Um, and then I, God, I could have swore we opened a foil. Hmm, strange. I could have swore we opened two foil crystalline giants, but maybe my eyes were deceiving me or I accidentally stuck it somewhere. If it's in here, buddy, uh, I'm sending all these to you, so. Fear not. And then, oh man, these juicy, these juicy boys. Look at that. Rare, mythic, mythic, rare, rare foil. All right, and now for the final box topper. I suppose I've made you all wait long enough, Carter and Nikki especially. And if anyone else is interested in having me open boxes, certainly let me know. Uh, you can email me at some of the pack at gmail.com. Shameless plug, and it is oh, another Space Godzilla Death Corona, really? Well, I mean, it could certainly be worse. I would have hoped to pull you one of those, what is it, like a hundred and something ridiculous dollar uh, mutate guys, but so it goes, my friend. I still think we did pretty great for you. Uh, I mean, that's awesome. I think that's pretty sweet. It's probably not worth a ton of money. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, I mean, there's a, 
you're pretty flushed out with uh, some really good stuff here. Fiend Artisan, Kinnon, yeah, I mean, oh, there it is, right there. See, I wasn't going, I wasn't going totally crazy. It's a bummer that two of your foil rares were these crystalline giants, but it's the way it works sometimes, my friend. You can't, can't win them all. Thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Carter and Nikki, I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, time sifting through all these. I am so relieved and thankful that you guys uh, came to me and had me open these boxes. I'm even more relieved and thankful that I do not have to sort these cards. I'm going to pack them neatly and securely in a box and ship them off to you. And that is the end of it for me. I do have all these wrappers that I have to clean up, which is fine but again thanks so much for checking out the video guys i hope you enjoyed it and until the next one my friends who knows when that will be i do have this fat pack oh we don't call them fat packs anymore we call them bundles of aquaria maybe i'll do a quick little video on that too just so i can have some aquaria cards but until the next one bye bye